Welcome back to the F124 driver career. We won last time out. Spoilers, if you didn't see the Austrian Grand Prix weekend with the uh, sprint race in there as well, it was a one hour, 30 minute bumper episode that is very much worth the watch. We had a lot of fun in Austria, a lot of racing in Austria, and it was particularly taxing and particularly rewarding when we got what we wanted from it. It has, as a result, seen us close slightly on Charles Leclerc. We're only 140 points behind him now. We're basically going to have to win as many races as possible between now and the end of the season. I hope that Charles Leclerc finishes not second and or DNFs a few times. Uh, we closed massively on Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso, though, throughout the course of that Austrian weekend. So we're very much in the hunt for P2 in the championship, at the very least. In fact, Charles hasn't won for two rounds of the championship now, but he's only not finished first or second once. <sighs> so it's going to be outrageously difficult without DNFs to try and catch him. But we are determined to do so. Mixed conditions for the uh, race that you can't quite see behind me, but you will be able to see here. We start dry and we end wet at Silverstone. So that will be different. Uh, fully dry practice that we're going to be driving in and fully dry qualifying as well. So we'll set up with a dry setup and just try and drive accordingly in the wet conditions with lower wings than really we need. But... Uh, We'll try our best. I'm going to lower them slightly. It did the same for Austria. The car is so good now, whereas previously I was having to put extra wing in to be competitive. Now I need to take extra wing out to be competitive. So big as the turnaround been for this Ferrari car this season. I'm going to go and sort my specialists out and I'll see you at Silverstone. Drop the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more F1 to come before we get towards FM25 in March. We'll have a full My Team save coming to you once we finish this driver career, but this driver career is not finished yet. We're determined to finish it well. Practice complete. We got everything we wanted to. 6,300 resource points in the bank now. Maybe if I'm 86 rated, my reputation can start to go up a little more. But I need 60% now to challenge Charles and to be able to improve the car myself rather than relying solely on him. So we're kind of stuck at the moment, aren't we? We know that in the my team, that's not going to be an issue. So not too worried about it for the time being for that save. But we certainly have hit a peak here at Silverstone, haven't we? I might actually put a brand new IC in for here and a brand new... MGUK and MGUH. We might use a brand new gearbox as well. I'd be tempted to put a brand new turbo in as well. And let's yeah, let's use a let's use a brand new gearbox as well. Why not? My home Grand Prix might as well have the opportunity to be as quick as we possibly can be. Whether that's quick enough or not, we still go and find out in qualifying. Left. 25 4. It wasn't a very good lap, but it also was not terrible. But P10 is certainly leaving a lot to be desired at the moment. We're going to need to find, I was going to say, well over half a second, and uh, pfft, not sure I've got that. George Russell flying with a 24 8. That's a ridiculous lap time, and they're only going to get quicker as we get deeper into the session. This is a better lap. Ah, a little 
snap there. Hopefully that doesn't cost me any sort of progression. I think I was a 24-6. Which is good enough for P4, okay. That that last section with the chicane and I I cannot take that properly. I've never been able to do it on any F1 game ever with any setup really. I always lose the rear end. Uh, only three tenths behind Lando with a 24-4 though. Mm, we're not gonna get pole. But I don't think we're going to be 10th either. Max is through. Both Mercedes are through. Esteban Ocon in the Sauber has pulled something out the bag there. Both Hasses going out in Q2 is a shock. But both Ferrari comfortably through. Both McLarens through. One of the Red Bulls because Oli Behrman never really pulls it out the bag, does he? Sauber in Q3. Rrr. Twenty-four two from Lance Stroll goes fastest. Twenty-four flat from Lando. We'll wait and see what Charles does. Twenty-four flat from Lando. Charles doesn't take P1. So Lando on pole as it stands. I'm probably going to be 7th or 8th at this rate, I think. Seventh or 8th, I think. Ninth. Sweet. I did a 24-8. Okay, so I've lost, I lost a little bit of time from my Q2 time. I was a 24-6 in Q2, which would have had me... We'll be Sixth, tomorrow, basically. As we head into the Grand Prix. Uh, well, we know we can go a bit quicker than that, but we've definitely not got a 24 flat in the bag. I might have been able to get close to Charles if I'd have really nailed the lap, but maybe my Q2 lap was as was as quick as I was going to get. We shall start ninth for the British Grand Prix. Not anticipating any grid penalties for Lando anyone. Norris Lando and Lance in position. first and second. Well, Lance has really been side. turning up the rest of the grid in the latter stages of this season, I think. Piastri then Leclerc here, yeah. no, no penalties, Russell Alonso. Alonso, we will be ninth, Hamilton. we are, Verstappen. no pens for anyone else, Wood. we got a little bit more time in our lap, but Perez. not too much, not Sites. too much, so we'll see today. what the strategy looks like no, by default, I don't know, <sighs> I don't know about a soft medium squeeze. like that. My personalised is slightly worse than it currently looks. So, we know rain's coming. So I could start on the medium and try and take them to the rain and stick with those in front if I can stay in their DRS. But I don't know as I'm going to be competitive enough to do that. I think it's probably going to be soft, undercut, medium, rain. So I'll probably... I'll probably do softs to 20 and we'll hear what the what the weather's going to be like and then and we'll take it from there but I think that's probably going to be about as far as we can take them. I'm not going to take too much fuel out either because we have been quite thirsty of late. So six and a half laps worth of extra fuel starting P9. Not losing DRS is so important around Silverstone. I'm running lower downforce than I ever normally do around Silverstone to try and make sure I've got the straight line speed to stay in people's DRS. It's going to be really tough, this one, especially when the rain gets here. But, as ever, keeping my fingers crossed my home Grand Prix. Superb parking there, mate. Outside line for turn one. On the surrounding Outside line for turn three. Expecting the Hasses to come through from behind. 
quite quickly. Oh, a lot of wheel spin there. Okay, lost the position to the house, that was it. They were quite slow in front. I think someone else must have had a slightly slower getaway. I'm trying to get around the outside of the house here, get my P8 back again. Which we've been able to do. All right, game on. Still in the position we started. Two McLarens lead the way. There might be a little bit of an opportunity here around the outside of Max, maybe. No, try and cut back on him, maybe. Put the power down with the battery. No, okay, fair enough, not to worry. The straight line speed is definitely there, though. The decision to take some wing out seemingly thus far justified by the fact that we are as competitive as we seem to be in a straight line. Charles is actually the one causing a little bit of a hold up here. Has Charles Leclerc got picked up some damage on lap one? Are they going to go defensive? Okay, no. Let's try and move forward. I'm trying. Up the inside of Max. He's on the outside of me though. I'll give him racing room. Give him a little squeeze. There you go, that's P P8. We made a position. I'm so slow around there. DRS is being Terrible made part of the lap for me. I need to save battery when you're one of the car ahead so that I can DRS stay in DRS range for this part of the track because the detection point is there for DRS down the uh, Wellington Strait. Thankfully, we were within range. And our straight line speed is decent. So bumpy around Silverstone. Wow. Okay, so it was the final two sections of the weather forecast when it said the rain was going to be here. And the rain apparently is going to come... So that would have been lap 35-ish onwards. Apparently the rain is going to get here by lap 10. So definitely the right decision to not go mediums for the first stint. Oh, I'm wide there, that's horrible. Nearly dropped Max out of DRS range. 10 minutes. I think that'll get pushed a bit. I don't think it will be quite that early, but it is still certainly a lot not earlier than anticipated. Perez and Verstappen are actually having a bit of a to-do, so we've been able to drop them. Well, I'm getting dropped by those in front now, I think. I, went, I am going to run out of battery, I think, and fall off the back of this lot. I have to use it sparingly and cleverly. Okay, managing the, managing the race well enough so far. 10% wear on the front left. After five laps, it says by the time we get to lap 20, it's going to be very, very worn on the front left. 20 is when we want to stop, not 20, was it five? That's, of course, if the rain doesn't hit before then and we end up on uh, wet tyres anyway. Able to save a bit of battery on this lap, which is going to come in handy. So 10 has become 10 to 15. So it's not going to rain as early as we feared. But it's also not going to rain as late as we hoped. At some point, now that we seem to be right with this train, I'm going to have to think about making a move Let's on Lewis. But I've got to be so careful as to where to do it. I'd probably be better served sitting until I absolutely know I can guarantee staying with the cars in front than taking seventh place but losing DRS on the front six because that's just pointless that's just terrible race IQ I need to be able to take Lewis knowing I'm not going to lose George in front happy enough right now as we start lap eight make a move on Lewis you know 
that was fun. Enjoyed that one. That was a dive bomb, but it's a dive bomb that's earned us a position. Sorry, Mr. H. I want to go after Mr. R. Here's some information on Hulkenberg. Okay. Okay, it looks like the problem's terminal. They're retiring the car. So Hulkenberg's out. That isn't going to cause any sort of safety car or VSC, I don't think. He's gone already. His car's disappeared already. So, no, it's not going to cause a VSC or a safety car. Hulkenberg has just retired from the race. And unfortunately for him, his British Grand Prix has come to an end. You can see the clouds are starting to build. But I think the weather's still a little way out. It looks like rain is inbound and we're expecting it in around five minutes. Five minutes. Maybe by lap 15, like it'll start to rain. But when we actually move to wet weather tyres, it's hard to tell. And with us in the procession we're in at the minute, Charles will get pit preference because he's the lead Ferrari. And I'll just have to either do another lap or suck up the uh, double stack. The two McLarens are going side by side for the lead here. Everyone else is quite happy to just sit behind at the moment. Suits me for now. Lewis is a bit closer this lap, but I want to try and do to Russell what I did what I did to Hamilton. Expect the first drops in the next few minutes. But it's just not close enough. Not close enough to be able to reliably do it without knowing I'm definitely not going to take any damage. I'm quite close to George. I've had no choice there. He broke so early considering he had a half second gap in front of him. We've taken George Russell. I think I just saw a raindrop as well. The clouds have really come over the past two laps or so. We are going to be within DRS range of our teammate as well. We are successfully up to P6. Just had to be really patient behind the Mercedes and buy my time until it was just the obvious time to overtake. Which on Lewis it was. George, I think I was, my hand was forced there by the early break from him. These front five are going to be harder to hold on to than the Mercedes though, that's for sure. The Merck is not as strong a car as the McLaren, the Astons or of course our Ferrari. So for the time being, it's overcast but dry. There might be the occasional raindrop fall but not enough to warrant any consideration of changing compound. We might end up still moving to uh, another set of drives before we get close to Inters. It did say, to be fair, on the weather that it was going to be overcast for a while before the rain properly came down. And there is the occasional raindrop falling here, but... Not even close. Not even close to even a damp track at the moment. The rain is getting slightly heavier now. see the, the raindrops coming down a bit more regularly but it's not even close to actually properly raining yet. Two McLarens continue to go side by side through Stowe. But they're the only ones that are actually contemplating making a move on one another. It's another classic F124 AI situation. But we started ninth, we're currently running sixth. If I could just get in front of Charles, that would be lovely. We're going to gain on Verstappen. If I can get in front of Charles, I'd like to think I can get in front of Alonso as well. Be careful of those slicks. These For our chasing of P2 in the championship at the very least. The but yeah, I agree. We're still nowhere near the changeover point. The rain is getting more intense, but intense definitely isn't the word to, uh, to describe how it's actually falling. It's more intense than it was, but it's still not intense, if you know what I mean. We've gone from a mizzle to a drizzle. might have a go at one another again here maybe. Shell thought about having a look, no they're not this time. Mm. 
definitely feel the grip on these soft tyres eking away. They're nowhere near as, understandably, they're nowhere near as grippy as they were at the beginning of the race, but they're nowhere near as grippy as they were three or four laps ago, let alone the 15 that we've done so far. I think I'm just going to be hanging on to these. It would be too much of a risk, I think, to box. For another set of dry tyres when it's almost certainly just going to get wet enough for wets or inters very soon. Just going to hang on in this train until the pit stop phase begins. Going to fail the objective here, but being in front of Charles now isn't really the aim. Well, I'm afraid we didn't quite meet our targets there, but don't worry about it. Get your head down and chin up and let's focus on the rest of this race. What we need to be is in front of Charles when the pit stops begin so that we can get pit preference and I'd be I'd be tempted to play devil's advocate and be a dickhead teammate and stop in front of Charles like maybe overtake him into the pit lane or something to try and guarantee myself service first and it will slow his race down and screw him over but when there's a potential world championship on the line and I don't have to deal with a real-life Charles being very angry at me, I'm probably going to do it. It's just a case of knowing when that pit stop phase is going to begin and being close enough to actually do something about it when it happens. Could have thought about a lunge there, really, but didn't work. Piastri, very slow there. It's caught all of us out behind. Lando's now got a little bit of a gap in front of him. At the moment, don't know whether Piastri locked up or there was contact between the two McLarens, but Lando's disappeared a little bit. Whether it's a full second or not, and denying Piastri DRS, I don't know. I certainly feel like once we lose the DRS personally, as in when DRS goes offline rather than us falling off the back, I think I start to to slow down and go backwards. I don't think without DRS. I'm going to be able to keep up with these guys and maintain the gap and my battery level. Oh, well, Piastri's maybe struggling with a little bit of front wing damage there, maybe now. Battery. Stroll having a look at Piastri. Stroll getting Piastri, I think, into uh, Stowe there. It's now McLaren Aston, McLaren Aston. Hopefully they slow each other up through here so I stand a chance again back within DRS range. The rain is really coming down now and I'm really struggling for traction. This is why I've fallen off the back of Charles Leclerc as, as much as I have. It's not, not a fun time right now. I've completely lost touch with the group in front and I won't get back in touch with them at this moment in time. I'm going to have to hope for Half decent we're still happy that we're on the right tyres at the moment. Pit stop strategy to help me gain any more places today, I think. Because with the weather as it is, my tyres in the condition they are. And the indecision we're currently in as to when to pit and what to pit for. I don't know what's going to be the right call or when's going to be the right call. If we think, if we think it's going to be like this for another 15 laps or so, and we're not going to need inters for a little while, then I could, and maybe should, duck onto a set of mediums now. But if we think we're going to be going to inters in the next five laps or so, then I should wait. But it's an impossible call to make. Because we don't know when the rain is going to get heavier or when the track is going to get wetter. In real life, I'd be able to ask my engineer and get that information. Like, how long do they think until 
it's probably going to be intermediate weather. But 20 minutes of light weight is all they're telling me. And what's the what's the best... Lewis? Well, it was George. What's the best tyre to be on right now? They can't tell me what the weather's going to do in 10 minutes' time. It just says light rain for the next 20 minutes. But that doesn't mean that we're going to be on dry tyres for the next 20 minutes. I might box this lap for a set of mediums and hope that the rain... stays as is and doesn't get any heavier for another 10 laps or so. It's still not a perfect situation, but I don't think we've got cause to move on to a different tyre yet. George is right up my arse again. I'm right up behind Lewis. George is having a look around the outside of me. And that front group are just disappearing now. I'm going to box. Okay, don't worry about that target for now. Let's just focus on this pit stop. It's a risk, but I'm going to box now for mediums, hoping that the rain doesn't come for at least another 10... or the intermediate tyre changeover doesn't come for at least another 10 laps. Okay, go, go, go. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. If next lap is inters, then feel free to... verbally abuse me. There's yellow flags behind as a, a Williams is retiring. Teo Porsche is out of the Grand Prix. Tyres are coming up to temperature slowly, so for the time being, this is an appropriate tyre. That was terrible. Teammate in the pits. I hope to high heaven that that is for dries and not inters, otherwise I pit quite literally one lap too soon. Okay, clear. What are they going to? Dry tires. They've gone to another set of dry tires. Okay, good. And um, I've undercut my teammate. We come out in front of Charles Leclerc. We've undercut our teammate. That's pretty huge, considering we were, what, three seconds behind? Remember to play around with ERS modes in your MFD if you need to. The McLaren... And the Aston Martin, however, were able to come out at the front of this train rather than at the back of it, like Charles. So we made the decision to box. It's not gained as much, but it's gained as something. It was justified in being taken, the decision. We now will be on this medium set. Safety car oh! What? Stay positive. Safety car, but what for? No idea what for. Someone's retired up front, have they? Maybe? What's happened? I've no idea. There's a safety car. Uh, who's caused the safety car? Was it a pit lane crash? Oh no, the crash is up. The crash is in front here. It is a pit lane crash. It is a pit lane crash. Max Verstappen is challenging with one of the Hasses here. It's Sergio Perez in the number 11 car. Max is going to want to go in the pits. Oh no, they're both trying to go in the pits. Are they both trying to go in the pits or is Sergio just forced wide here by Max? I'm not sure whether Sergio actually wants to box here. He's still trying to turn left. Sergio doesn't want to box. And Verstappen does. This is very much a game only wouldn't happen in real life crash. But Perez is now out. Verstappen is now sideways in the middle of the track. Perez is there with only one tyre on it. Max has, Max has actually then gone across the grass and still going to try and pit. Oh, who knows what this is going to do for the order now. And it may well be intermediate, by the t intermediate weather by the time the... Um, by the time the safety car comes in. 
So we now have the track position on Charles that we didn't have before for pit stop priority. Max does have a 10 second penalty. We thought he would, or we thought he should have done. Actually, the penalty isn't. The penalty isn't for cutting the entry to the pit lane. It's for a severe collision with Sergio Perez. Max Verstappen, 10 second penalty for causing a collision. And as a result of said collision, Sergio Perez out of the race with terminal damage. Wow. So previously, we thought we'd made the right decision by boxing. Now, if we'd have stayed out, <laughs> which I admittedly would never have done when the others started to box, then we might have actually found ourselves in first. In front of us, Sainz and Gasly in P1 and 2. Ricardo, Zhou, Albon and Tsunoda all are yet to stop. So we're currently running a net P6 behind Lando, Lance, Lewis, who gained massively there, Piastri and Alonso. But if these guys are able to stay out and then box for inters when everyone else needs to box for inters, then this would be our net position, P12. She's not ideal at all. Safety car in this lap. We will be racing again at the okay, start of lap 27. This is effectively half race lap. distance now. Field accelerates. Remember, there's no overtaking until the timing line. Safety car in this lap. We're right on the crossover, I think. But I don't think it's intermediate tyre time yet. The guys in front are on worn softs, very worn softs. It's really difficult to get the power down. The car in front, but we need to look after the tires. We won't be making another pit stop. Green flag. Tires are going to be cold right now, so it's going to be difficult to get the car to turn in. It's going to be difficult to get the power down. Teammates alongside me here. Pushing each other wheel to wheel. Tires, rear tyres are warming situation. up though. Interesting one, but I think the right call is to stick with what we've got for now. Yeah, I agree. We're really not far from Inters, but it's not quite yet. But like I say, it might be by lap 28. These guys in front are on really worn softs, which is why they're as slow as they are, which is just going to let those in front get further and further and further away. That's Tsunoda. I'm going to go for Albon as well here. Just use my fresher, hotter tyres. That's P10. DRS will be enabled this lap. Okay, dry seem like the best tyre for now. So Guan Daniel Ricciardo in front is the last of the first group that haven't stopped yet. Carlos Sainz in the house who's currently running P2. And Pierre Gasly's in there somewhere. In P3, I think. They haven't stopped yet. So our net position. Ultimate, ultimately, with the intermediate still to come, this is our net position. We just need to get as close to that front group again as we can whilst Sainz and Gasly are holding people up. But we're ev we've evidently got the pace on those old soft tyre runners. But this rain could be with us for a while. We're, nowhere, we're nowhere, nowhere near... Like yeah, nowhere near intermediate lap times yet. All the soft runners are in. But that's probably... Probably just because their soft tyres are old, not for inters. Close to the crossover point now. Stay out if you have the pace, but as soon as you hit the limit, come in and we'll put the inters on. Shell through. Try and get dragged along with his DRS. But I don't know if I'm going to be fast enough to stay with him. This is a case of the AI just has more grip inherently than the user in these conditions. I'm having to drive a lot slower than they are. They've got more grip than me. 
you saw through the first 22 laps or so of the race that we could comfortably keep pace with those around us. Now in these conditions, they've just got so, so, so much more grip than me. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Drys definitely seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. We lost three seconds effectively on the front five in two laps just because bugs, basically, game bugs. This sucks, but that's the way of it. Can only drive what's put in front of me, so to speak. Charles is now out of, or very nearly going to be out of DRS range. This is the end of our challenge. Unfortunately, we needed a quick switch to intermediate tyres, and we're not getting that. So it's going to kill our race. I just don't have the grip. And they're able to pull away from me like two, three, four tenths per sector. I've got no defense. This isn't a they're better than me or I'm worse than them thing. At least 20 minutes of this is a rain. game thing. Frustratingly. Out of my control, I'm afraid. We're just going to have to take it on the chin and suck it up. Two and a half tenths. Don George just in that double left-hander. Now Max is having to go to the same place that George took me last time. Bloody old Max. It's going to let Ocon through that. Jesus Christ, Max. Luckily for Max, he's paid his 10-second penalty in the pits. Tire attempts are coming down slightly, but still nowhere near enough to warrant a stop. Excuse me, Esty Bestie. Thank you. Okay, good work. Great pass. It's so frustrating. They just have more grip. Esteban again. Probably be able to get him into Stowe again. Which we can and will. DRS disabled. I'm okay, going to box now. now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. I've got into set as my next tyre. DRS disabled, it's normally the sign. It still might be too soon, but I'm gonna take that as a sign. Those behind aren't boxing. Okay, let's go. I might have gone too soon here. Well, if we're right on the crossover, we might have made the right call. We got the first pit stop right. I don't know whether we got this one right or not. Temps might give us an idea. They're all right. No one else is boxing, though. I have to try and ease these inters in. Not overheat them straight off the bat so that they're unusable later in the stint. Mm. Reese are too hot. We went too soon. We're faster than those around us at the minute. But the rear tyres are too hot. I'll try and call them down if I can. Ah. What was a race that had gotten away from us a little bit with the changeover and the AI being too good now has completely gotten away from us with this change. 
chat is saying that there's a certain threshold in this game where the AI will stay on drives and keep pace and the user is faster on inters, but they burn out quick. Welcome to said threshold. It's not a too soon thing, it's a game coding thing. Lovely. Good. Trying to drive offline where I can to cool the, cool the tyres down, but it's just way too hot. Okay, a Mercedes is in. Someone's pulled the trigger. It's Lewis, because he was the front-running Mercedes. And others are boxing too. Is it going to start to come back to us? It needs to come back to us very quick, because my rear left is on fire. Are they in, or are they not? They're in. I need to get my tyres cooled down. Ricardo's in the piss. I can't do that. In a minute. Up to P8 again. Which is effectively as high as I think we'll potentially finish, right with Ocon and Verstappen once more. But with my tyres being as hot as they are now, they're still going to have pace on me. Because my tyres are too hot. I need a lot more rain now to try and cool them down. Thanks, Max. Just drive into me, mate. Don't worry about it. Well, that's Max and Ocon through, because Verstappen basically just pushed me off the track. Or pushed me very, very, very wide. Right, temperatures are vital for tyre wear, as you well know. So yeah. Try and keep them in the I'm trying! You're not a very well-made game in the wet, though. So, I'm a bit fucked, really. My only possible outcome now is to try and hold on for P10, because they're going to get away from me in front. Pay attention, Chess. And the 13 seconds to science is only going to come down. It's a case of, is he going to close on me by a second a lap or not? Because that's what, effectively, there or thereabouts, we have in our back pocket. With the amount of laps left remaining. 107 now rear left. It's going to explode at some point. It's going to go bang. At this point, I might as well box again. They're only going to catch me behind. If I box now, I'll come out 14th. Do I just... Do I just box and then try and make some time over the last 10 laps? Science is definitely going to catch me. I am absolutely getting no points in this race if I stay out. My only option, really, is to box again. Get those hot, soft, hot inters off and a new set on. It's impossible for me to call those, those other inters down. I will absolutely... Oh, of course you did. Right rear wheel. I know it's not ideal, but let's try and put that behind us now and get back into this race. I would only have gotten caught by science anyway. This way, at least I have a chance of having something to drive for and race with in the last few laps. And he'll be chasing after Oli Behrman in a Red Bull, Pierre Gasly in a Alpine, and maybe the other RB, a Daniel Ricciardo as well. But down to P14, what was going so well when we were up to P4 or 5. I think P5 was as high as we got, wasn't it? It was going so well, and then... It's just died. <laughs> this is pointless. It's just, it's just inherently unfair for the user. I might as well just retire at this rate. I've boxed onto a brand new fresh set. And these are overheating too. But the AI's tyres aren't overheating. How is that fair? It's not. So, have a safety car, everyone. Are you okay? That Table flip! Confirm you're okay, please. Okay, we've got a first... That's 
It's just annoying, more so than anything. It's a real, real pain in the knob. But unfortunately, I don't have any other option. It's just going, just going to be driving around with hot tyres going backwards purely for the sake of finishing the race. <sighs> Apologies, YouTube, but and here he comes. It's, all it's out of my control, that. Those mid conditions are, winning drivers are, are just way to the podium right now. unmanageable when they don't change like that. McLaren. Normally, That's you go from sure. dry to wet a lot quicker and you don't have that sort of scenario. Even more frustratingly, it's a race where Charles Leclerc has dropped a load of points. He's finished fourth or fifth, I think, in that race. Well, what an end fifth. to another fantastic weekend of racing. Oh, uh, so I could have massively closed on him. You for the next one. Potentially. No. No. Cool. Okay. Well, bum holes. 49%. My reputation has gone up, or my recognition has gone up, despite the race ending in the way that it did. Okay, I've got a new perk unlocked, which is uh, practice program resource point rewards increased by 100%. Good. I actually can't spend them on anything now, though, so that's unfortunately. A little bit redundant because my recognition isn't high enough. We'll see how things go in the next Grand Prix, which is Hungary, which is probably not going to go that well. We'll see how things go in Hungary. I would be tempted with things standing as they are to at least offer you guys, because of the balanced, I'd be tempted to offer you guys. Actually, I might even need the harder tyre compound set. Uh, um, Hungry. To offer you guys the opportunity to end this save now and start the my team early. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. I'll mention it at the beginning of the next episode as well. I'll record Hungary, but I'm contemplating pulling the plug and starting the my team. We'll wait and see how Hungary goes. That might rejuvenate me and I might just be down in the dumps because of the way that that specific race went. Let's hope that it's dry at Hungary. I might even go to the hard... I might go hard tyre compound set here as well, you know. Medium, medium. Yeah, I'll go I'll go harder tyre compound set here as well. I'll go to the race weekend. It has the potential to rain all weekend in Hungary. It has the potential to be stonking hot all weekend in Hungary. It is going to be... Kill me. It is going to be... An entirely wet race. Stonking hot on the Friday. Qualifying is mixed. Race is full wet weather. Mm, tears! All the tears! I'm going to flip the table again. All right. I'll see you in Hungary. We might be starting my team uh, sooner than we think.